Hi, my name is Stephanie Toman. I'm continuing with the series for the advanced word, um, week three, but it's the revision, the weekly revision exercises on this section. Um, so it's going to be demonstrating the questions 14 to 20. So what we need is you need your weekly revision work files that you can get off Viola and make sure they are the correct work files, otherwise it won't work what we're doing. And you need the weekly revision um, advanced word process and weekly revision paper. And I've done week two in a previous set of videos. And this one's going to concentrate on these ones here. Week three, practice week 14, questions 14 to 20. And this is regarding the section six referencing. So this is what we're going to use. And then we've got our files to do it. So I'm going to start um, by doing question 14. So using the discovery file, create a footnote after tomb in the third paragraph footnote number two with the following text, evidence was found of early grave robbers. So let's go and find the, um, the area, discovery, here it is, the file. So create a footnote after the tomb in the third paragraph, one, two, three. And there we go. So sometimes it does not highlighted like it was when we were um, demonstrating in learning. Notice there's already one in there, hence the reason it's going to be number two. So let's go to the references tab as we find all this stuff. And we've got an insert there. It's come up as number two. And then it's going to be evidence. Blah, 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 blah. Um, for that evidence was found of early grave robbers. And that's that bit done. So that's nice and quick. Remember to access anything on these. If you right click on these footnotes, you can get to note options and you can get to convert. And note. remember the note, note options can change the numbering and the way that things are. So it gives you the whole picture for footnotes. Okay, so that's that one done. Close that. And we'll look at the second one. Now question 15. Using the Topperville Hall file, create a table of contents under the main heading before the heading introduction. Use a format classic, your own choice of leader dots and only show two levels. Then insert a break, page break before the heading introduction and update the table of contents accordingly. So this is quite a typical of this question. So we're going to open up Topperville Hall, come down a bit. There it is there. And the first bit is to do the table of contents. So under the main heading, in there, that's where we're going to put it. And we go to references, table of contents, custom table of contents. And we follow what it's asking, which is a classic to show two levels there and tab leader dots of my choice. And then OK, that's worked. Brilliant. Then insert a page break before the heading so we can do an in a control and enter on the keyboard. That's putting in a break. Uh, moving it on to the next page, and then we've got to update the table of contents. Remember, in the exam, when you update table of contents, it will tell you if it wants you to do the entire. It doesn't say that, you don't have to. Okay, so question 16, open the document Predator, add a bookmark name census to the heading census on page 2, add another bookmark body to the body form heading, and at the end of the document, insert a cross-reference a hyperlink to the bookmark text which links to the bookmark body. Okay, fine. So first of all let's open up Predator. Insert tab and here's our bookmarks here. So we're going to add a bookmark census. So let's go back out, let's find census as a heading. There it is. Double click on it into that same place where we were, bookmark, and we're going to type in census and add. Okay. The second one, we've got um, 
add another bookmark to the body form heading. Now I'm going to make sure I highlight the whole thing, not just a little bit, because it's applying to both words. I'm going to bookmark and I'm going to call it body and add. And then at the end of the document, right at the very end, just here, I'm going to insert a cross reference. So back to there, we're still in the insert tab, cross reference, and it's going to be to the bookmark. Um, body, which it is, and it's going to be linked as body text, which it automatically is. And there's that link that's talking about the hyperlink. Insert, close, and then if you control and click, that should take you to body form, which it has. Okay, so we can close that one, and we're going to be now moving to opening references. So, question 17. Open the references file and type page, open bracket, sorry, page, uh, space, then close bracket, after Elizabeth 1 in the paragraph 1. We're going to insert a cross-reference to the numbered items beginning Elizabeth said. It shows the page number. So this is that cross-reference feature that I demonstrated in the lectures. So we're going to open up um, references. Okay, so here's our Elizabeth the first. We've got to do an open bracket, page, space, close bracket, ready for our cross-reference. Insert tab, there's our cross-reference there. Um, and we need to, it's already in numbered item, which is what we need. It says insert cross-reference numbered item beginning Elizabeth is said. So we click on that one. And page number is what we're after as well. So we click on insert. So question 18, continue with the file references, add a caption figure A, the tea room, to the tea room image, and place the caption below the image, making sure the caption letter can be automatically updated. So here's our tea room picture under here. Remember, insert caption. Got to make sure it's automatically updated. That's the first thing I've got to do. So auto caption. Takes a minute to come through. I'll do that in the exam. It is on, but it's not always. Probably won't be in the exam. Make sure it's ticked. And OK, and it throws you out. Back in, it's been set up, so now we can get on with the job. So it is figure A already. If not, you can find them all here. The numbering. And then I'm just going to put in the T room. OK, so that's the right place. And that's that one done. We're moving on to question 19. Close. OK, so we're going to do questions 19 and 20 together. The last two on the week revision for um, references. So it asks us to create the following index entries using the same document as we have before, references. We've got to create a main entry for the text house on page one. We've got to create entry for maze on page three and use the mark entries of main entry as maze and garden as sub-entries. And then create that in a new index on a new page at the end of the document using a fancy format. OK, so here's our first item, first house. You can do it through a find uh, or just visually, it's up to you. OK, so we're going to use this one. So we're going into references, mark entry. And just once house, we mark it and we close. Notice that the show and hide comes on automatically when you do, sorry, you do a mark and entry so you can see it. The second one is on um, page three. So all the way down to page three. And there it is on the third paragraph. So back to references, mark entry, once maze there, and gardens as sub entry mark and close and then we go to the very end of the document we can use a control and enter i'm going to pop our index in here so it's still on the references tab insert your index fancy format quite happy with that okay and there you've done it so that's completed weekly revision um questions 14 to 20 uh, regarding referencing 
and I'm going to start some more lecture videos in the next series. Thank you.